What's going on fellas? Today I got a ninja trick for all you manufacturers and DIYers out there. What we are doing today is putting nozzle gel for MIG welders on my plasma table. This is a Premier plasma table and I do a lot of stainless steel cutting and my tips are getting clogged up with dross left and right. It ruins the cut and it ruins the plasma tip. So today I decided to test this nozzle gel and lo and behold after 32 cuts this thing is almost as clean as new. And any of you guys who ever run a plasma table uh, before and have never tried this are probably standing in awe, but this is the nozzle gel that I'm using. We're now going to try a shield without nozzle gel. However, the Electro does have nozzle gel on it, so we're not getting the full spectrum view of this. You can see I just cut another swath of the same amount of parts, and we're going to see how much dirtier this tip is. We already have pieces falling off of it. The dross buildup on 8th inch stainless steel would have already clogged the tip up by now. I just wanted to show this to you guys on the fly. I didn't make this specific for this video today. I'm just working and wanted to show you an observation that I come across that I have to share with you guys because I've been struggling with this for years. It ruins your work and it ruins the plasma tips which are very expensive. The consumables can get very pricey. So. The tip should run for two to three hours straight on the entire time. And if you're not getting that, this can definitely help you out. So look how dirty that is after just, I think, 32 parts I cut. And here's the other one. Look how clean that is in comparison. Total, complete difference. And I probably didn't even coat that as good as I could have because it was already dirty before the application. So here's the, uh, the one without it again. So a brand new shield and tip from now on will always get coated with nozzle gel from me. So if you try this, don't forget to rub some on the plasma torch electrode itself because I've found a lot of buildup actually likes to stick right on that nozzle itself because it's kind of hot. So you guys are going to love this trick if you haven't tried it yet. I may be stupid for just now thinking about it, but I have not seen this in the forums anywhere yet.